you. Today, I'm interviewing my wife. Stay tuned. I got some questions for you. We're going to interview today because it seems like everybody wants to know more about Victoria. Do Dose. they? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what it seems like. Mm-hmm. You know, every video we put up, it's, oh, ask Victoria this. Or, oh, Victoria's hair is this. I'm like, hey, <laughs> I do this too, you know. You know, I'm here too. Mm, okay. Can't help if they like me better. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> the lot lizard speaks. I'm <laughs> 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 just kidding. Nah. Right, I got some hot questions for you. I'm going to interview you today. See if we can get to know you just a little bit more. Let's see. Okay. First, first and for those who don't know, where are you actually from? I was born in Sacramento, California, but I was raised in Alabama, somewhere around Birmingham. Roll but time. I'm not from Birmingham. Okay. Yeah, real sad. Okay. <laughs> and that's, that's where we met in Alabama, too. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, can you tell us how old you are? 33. What's your sign? Jesus. <laughs> hey, look out now. <laughs> <laughs> look out now. I don't subscribe to those sign things. Absolutely. Good stuff here. Hot thing. All right. <laughs> so you have now been married for over 10 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that I mean, it's 10 plus like a little bit of change. So you have been <laughs> married for over 10 years. We, we see what school you went to. <laughs> public school. <laughs> That's what school you went to. So tell us or tell your audience some of the key things to keep your marriage healthy and strong. Mm. One is to remember that your spouse is not your enemy. Mm. And the Bible verse that helps me remember this is we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Um, but can you finish that? What's the rest of that? Yeah, but <laughs> but, but against uh, principles, uh, powers against the rules of darkness in this age, spiritual wickedness mm-hmm. in high places. Right. Yeah. So it's not a flesh battle. It's a spiritual battle. So whenever... I am upset with him or he's upset Mm. with me. I'm not, I mean, yeah, sometimes I might take it personal in the moment, but then I step outside and I'm like, okay, this is a spiritual thing. And then I go to fight the spiritual battle and it makes it a lot easier. Why won't you start a fans only page, Victoria? Why would I start a fans only page, audience? (laughs) (laughs) Listen. Because we were, we were doing a video earlier, you were talking about this new house, a million dollar house and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it could be very lucrative for you to do a fans only, especially with that hair, and those eyes. You know, you can change the, the world. So why not go ahead, you know, just do it for two, three years and, you know, be, be done with it? I would not want to be the subject of other people's lust and their sins and their whatever they're doing because of what I'm doing. I love that. I right. c- can I jump in real quick? Go right. I know they would learn about it. I'm in here too. I'm in the <laughs> video too. But that is so awesome that you you didn't you didn't pull from just you. Mm-hmm. You you put your brothers and sisters in there too. Said this is not just about me. Me not participating in a certain thing that's a lewd act or, or what have you. Mm-hmm. It's not just about me. It's not just about my money. It's not just about my happiness. It's not just about my family, but it's about your family too. Right. It's about your image too. Your spiritual it's walk a, too. Oh my goodness, girl. Mm-hmm. That, that's a good one. Oh, thank you. That is a good one. I see why they love you. <laughs> I, I see why they love you. Uh, <laughs> And then also I want to add as far as like the money aspect, like, yes, it could be lucrative, but I would feel like that's like blood money. Mm. Like there's like blood diamonds, like you killed somebody to get this diamond and now you've got this diamond and you feel, you would feel guilty for having it. So I, I wouldn't, even though, yes, there's a lot of money to be made, that would be blood money. Mm. Mm. I heard somebody say, uh, every dollar ain't my dollar. Yeah, you know I mean? hmm. so that's 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 hmm. crazy. Uh, so influencers or people that you uh, see as inspiration across the social space, anybody in particular? It's very hard to find inspiration hmm. in the spiritual aspect. I mainly just find like, oh, this person inspires me because of their hair, like their fro, the way they wear their natural hair, or the way that they dress modestly but it's still cute, or the way that they raise their family. It's very hard for me to find you know the whole bit especially the spiritual thing so okay. Okay. it's hard for me to say okay so you mentioned hair mm-hmm. 
what do you do to get this glow, this thing happening with your hair? How do, how do you how I do you do maintain it? Uh, how do I maintain it? Ooh, child, I don't like maintaining it. I like how <laughs> it looks, <laughs> but it's, it's it's a lot of work. Um, so for this, I just twisted. I washed my hair last night. I twisted it up into like five big twists. And then I blow dried it this morning and stretched it out and I kind of cut the shape a little bit, which I know you don't like me to take scissors to my hair because you're like, oh, don't cut your hair. I love it. But you don't understand that I like to keep I like the heart shape afro, not the circle or the square. I like the heart shape one. So to each his own, I guess. It's all about you. You like it. I can't just uh, <laughs> can't just tell you what to do with your hair. I guess. We said pro, it's in a pro. <laughs> before, before we get to the next question, we want to give a big shout out to our partner and the sponsor of this video, Vid Angel. Okay. Now, if you find it hard to get content where you and your family can sit and watch together mm -hmm. movies or shows, any of that, without some kind of agenda being pushed, some kind of sex act or random movement. curse words in kids movies like why all of that vid angel is the cure <laughs> yes. it is the happening for that because what you could do is actually you can monitor that stuff you can change it you can eliminate it you can you can view the way that you want your shows to be viewed and so right you can set your default settings whether you want nudity turned off and modesty turned off kissing um alcohol being shown or like drug usage you can Turn all that off by default. And here's how you can get your two weeks free by using our promo code. Yep. Go to vidangel.com and use promo code Henry Victoria. So, all right. So just to get a little deeper into some of the other topics, you were in the LGBT uh, lifestyle before uh, you got married. Tell us a little bit more about that. So I was by ever since the fourth grade, actually. This stuff happens way before y'all think it does. Fourth grade up until college, my senior year. And that was when I had like spiritual switch. But um, um, through elementary and middle, I was pretty like in the closet about it and in high school. And then in college, that was when I had my first like open, like out in the open girlfriend. Um, and I had told my mom about it too. Didn't tell my dad about it though. <laughs> but I was living that publicly and I had just kind of accepted whatever I might get from that, like hearing people say about that. And I remember when I was working in the store that we were getting together, mm -hmm. I, I used to, I, I got to a point where I would start bragging about it. Like I, w I liked the attention that I was getting by telling people that I had a girlfriend. And when we were working together, I mentioned it to somebody in the shoe store, a customer or something like that. <coughs> and they were like, oh, no, like, you don't need to be doing that. You know what the Bible says about that, right? And anytime someone would say something like that, I would just be like, mm, like, Shh, shut up, go away. Like, mm, I don't want to mm. hear it. Mm. Um, even when you and I would talk about that, um, I would be like, don't, don't lecture me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me it's wrong. I know. And so I think that hinders a lot of people. Because they just, they don't want you to hear an opposing side to what they believe. But, you know, I'm glad that I was still able to hear conviction from God and, and change. I remember the the question that really shifted everything. Because I called you out on this while you were in this particular lifestyle. I'm going to see if you remember that. And we're going to cover this, of course, on our uh, subscribers only. Uh, so it's going to end for the, the rest of you. But if you are a subscriber... Uh, continue on and we'll we'll show you some of this stuff because we want to dive a little bit deeper into this and subscribers get half off on our coaching sessions and you get half off on the coaching sessions that's and amazing you get a thing. discount on our merch whenever it drops absolutely but let's continue